All right, uh, first off, don't uh, mind the green screen behind me. I have a, a new uh, editing, uh, video editing program, and I just haven't uh, learned how to do the green screen thing, and I rearranged my office here, so uh, the green screen is going to be behind me for a while until I uh, uh, learn how to uh, play around with it. So, uh, what's going on? Well, First off, um, I did some uh, video clips back in June, uh, the end of June. I was going to put it up, and um, I uh, was just about ready to start doing some editing when uh, uh, the weather here uh, got a little better. Uh, I've been trying to um, paint my uh, trim on my house here for the last two years. And uh, last year the weather wouldn't cooperate, and uh, by the time I I was able to find someone to paint the upper part of the house, um, it was too late. They were uh, all booked for the rest of the summer. So I had to wait over the winter, and um, this year I called a contractor early this time instead of waiting, and still because of the weather. Um, being so crappy, um, haven't had the chance to get the house painted until the, the end of June. So uh, there I was with these uh, videos ready to put up here, uh, so you guys can see what I've been doing and uh, what I have in store uh, for the future with my uh, power lifting. Um, the first week um, that the weather was uh, kind of good, uh, the contractor came in and brought his uh, equipment over to paint the house. And he was painting the, house, the, the upper trim there on the house and um, every day, uh, chance of rain, chance of rain. So he came over, dropped off his equipment, and had to go home because uh, it rained, it started raining. So he came back the next day, it was all nice. He started painting, and about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, rain again. So he had to stop. And luckily, the, the paint he did was underneath the eaves uh, on the roof, so um, uh, it didn't rain that bad, it was just rain straight down, so we didn't have to worry about the rain damaging the paint. So anyway, it took, the, took about four days to do the painting. So this is the first week. So it took about four days to do the painting. And um, I didn't want to do the lower part because I want him to finish in case, he, you know, he's drop paint all over and, and mess up what I had to do. So that's the reason why I waited for the uh, parts that I had to do. So... Um, after he got done, uh, we had rain again, and uh, finally it, it dried out. So on a Saturday, I uh, got some uh, house wash, and I uh, washed down the whole house, uh, all four sides. Uh, on one side, I was getting uh, algae, and uh, so I needed to tackle that uh, before it started ruining uh, things on my house. So. So after I washed the house, this was on a Saturday, uh, next day I, I started uh, scraping off the caulking on parts of the uh, wood, and uh, then I had to re caulk, and uh, then I painted uh, the back of the house. And uh, then I moved over to the front, and um, I had like a like a little porch up front in the house and I had to paint all the white spindles and everything and uh, in order to paint the spindles I had to strip all the paint off of them um, because the um, the paint was too cracked up and it, you know it was all falling off the wood so uh, the, the paint the new paint I didn't want to have any problems with it peeling off so I uh, I stripped all the wood on the porch, and that took me two days, and I worked like ten hours a day on that. 
And also I painted the inside of the porch, the, the ceiling part, and then the woodwork around the windows and stuff. So while I'm doing all this, um, I didn't have the energy to work out. So the first week I was doing the prep and the scraping and, and the sanding. I uh, didn't work that week because I was just too tired. I was working like 10 hours a day between uh, rain uh, spurts. So then the following week, um, I had to do the upper part of the porch and across the garage. And um, so I was climbing up and down the ladder. Um, I had to use a roller and I had to go above my head with the roller and I'm going this way and that way and then painting with the brushes and, and everything and stretching and everything. And in the meantime, um, I'm still not, you know, have enough energy to work out after this. So, um, so I just, uh, just kept on working to get this done as fast as I could. And then again, we had more rain again. So finally we got a stretch of like three days of no rain, so I finally was able to uh, finish the job. But in the meantime, my body, I, I just, I couldn't move. I was in, my, my shoulders, my back, my legs, everything was just hurting me. And without, you know, without having energy enough to work out, I, I really couldn't work out um, for three weeks. So I'm done here now. I finished and I was going to take off the weekend and then start working out again on a Monday and the uh, I just couldn't. I was just in too much pain. My shoulders were hurting me, um, my biceps, um, the backs, my traps, everything. And it's all because I was upside down like, you know, with my head like this for hours painting with the, with the roller and the and trying to paint all the nooks and crannies with the brushes. So finally, um, I started working out Monday and I have like a split routine. I and I and So anyway, the first day was squats. And um, I couldn't even put the 45 pound bar on my back. And I was already working out and doing um, um, walkouts with uh, 340 pounds because on my next meet I want to do at least a 300 pound squat. Um, so I, I was trying to get ready, my body ready to get used to uh, holding the weight uh, on that, that kind of weight on my back. So I had uh, 340 pounds I got it up to before I started to do this painting. When I put the bar on my back I couldn't even hold the bar on my back across my traps. It, it, it hurt so bad. The, the weight of 45 pounds was too much. And also my arms, my shoulders, I couldn't even hold the bar and go back. My arms, because it was so sore, it wouldn't even move. Now I, all this time, I'm doing mobil, mobility uh, exercises and I'm, I was doing rolling with the, with the cross ball and stuff just to you know break it up a little bit. But I still I still couldn't handle it, so it took me like four or five sets before I could actually use the bar to squat. I mean, I had no problem squatting, it was just holding the bar. So then, the next day it was deadlifts, and the deadlifts okay, I didn't have any problems doing deadlifts. Um, I didn't do heavy, I just did medium weights, uh, worked out my back. And then the following day after that was bench. And bench, I picked up the bar, 45 pounds. I picked up off, I unracked it, put it up, and I went down, and I, that's as far as I went. The, I couldn't, the 45 pound, pound bar was too heavy. I couldn't, couldn't come down to my chest with the bar. I only came up about this high, or this close to the chest. And then I went up and down, up and down. I still couldn't make it to stretch down. So I got a 22 pound, um, 22 pound barbell, uh, one inch uh, standard uh, plates. So I put that on the rack and I did it. And I slowly let the bar come down on my chest. And then I got it on my chest, the pain was so bad I couldn't even push up. So that's the way it's been for the last week. Uh, this is uh, Saturday and I've been working out all week and I still haven't been able to uh, actually 
do any benches. Um, I tried to do some push-ups and forget it. I couldn't even hold my, my chest. I couldn't even hold my body up. So um, what I'm going to do here now, um, I'm not going to change anything with the videos I made. I'm still going to leave them the same as if th this hasn't happened as far as the painting and, and the soreness. Um, because um, there's some things I like you guys to see and some things I, w I wanted to get out there to you guys. So um, as soon as I can, um, after this video, I'm going to um, put up uh, this uh, video I did before this. So we'll see you there. I had a guy come in. He uh, painted the upper part of the house because it was just too high for me. I had a ladder that reaches that high. him do the top and then I'm going to do the lower part of my house here you can see he's paint really bad this is really worse I uh, power washed the house it's a lot better now so, uh, by Saturday, I power washed the house, cleaned it all up. And then uh, Saturday and Monday, I did the back. There's a sliding window in the back. I had to do the trim around the window. And then Tuesday, I tackled this porch. It's painted the ceiling. Because uh, we've been having storms, it's been, been trying to get this house freaking done since April, and uh, the weather just will not cooperate. So uh, a lot of work to do yet. So I worked Monday and Tuesday on it, and uh, yesterday we had storms all day. Today we're supposed to have storms. It looks nice now, but in a couple hours we're supposed to be getting some more. And I can't paint. I have to at least to have a day of no rain. Get it painted in the morning with it dry before nighttime, before it rains. So as soon as I get this done, guys, I will get back to making videos again. I'm still working out but with this and working out. There's no time to do my. Uh, my videos for some reason all the paint came off on here uh, I bought this house new this is the first paint since uh, new in 05 so it's going to be a little harder because I should have done it sooner ok we're going to start the um voice over here as you saw in the video there was a lot of knots showing through the paint uh, from this wood here so uh, what I did was I stripped all the um, paint off of the uh, railing and the uh, spindles as you see here I uh, put some plastic on the back part of the porch because uh, I didn't want rain to get in there and start uh, soaking up the wood. I wanted to keep the wood dry so it would be easier to paint. And now on this next one you see on the top rail there I painted uh, the top of it with an oil based primer to seal in the um, knots so they wouldn't show through the uh, the next uh, cover coats that I'm going to put on. And you see here in front, everywhere you see the paint, these are all knots that are in the wood. So I put some sealer on, on all of them that had the knots showing. 
and um, it uh, hopefully going to work. Now here's the porch part. You see here too. You see I painted all the the knots. Can't believe all the knots in this wood. This is a real cheap wood, but we're going to do with the uh, with the builder. And I didn't know this was like this because I wasn't around when they were putting the house together. Now here's the whole thing done, uh, painted. I did two coats, the top coats. Um, came out uh, really nice. And uh, it's going to last a while because this is my first and last time doing this. Now here's the uh, back of the porch there. You see in the video all that wood was all uh, bare and look how nice it came out here looks like it wasn't even uh, damaged and then here in the inside the porch you can see it's all finished and uh, looks really white in fact when you uh, when you look at it from the sidewalk it almost blinds you look like snow blindness it's so white then here's the house there's a part with the porch you can see it's finished also um, in this next video coming up I painted the door and I put new locks on it because the locks were all uh, distorted and um, fading away so I changed the locks and um, I'm happy with the job but I'm not happy with the after effects on my body um, I can't wait to I uh, heal up here so I can get back to working out here's the picture of the whole house done and uh, like I said this is the last time I'll be doing this um, because I'm going to be either too old or gone.